hello viewers welcome back to my channel in today's video lecture i shall be discussing on class c addressing that is in classful addressing in my previous video lect lectures i have explained about class a addressing with an example class b addressing with an example example here in essence i'll be taking one ipv4 address belonging to class a then using the subnet mask we can determine the first address and the last address and also in my previous introductory type of uh, lectures i have clearly mentioned which are the different classes in ipv4 addressing and how many bits are there for the network id and how many bits are there for the host id in each of these classes now in class c addressing how many bits out of the total 32 bits so 24 bits are the network denotes the network part and 8 bits denotes the host part so in this type if we have to go like in whatever manner i have explained class a class b and class c addressing 24 bits for the network part 8 bits for the host part given an ip address in class c addressing you are going to determine what the first address and the last address take one example for 192 randomly i'll take some class c address 192.168.10.15 so if this is the ip address given then what exactly you are going to do is First, you remember that in class C addressing, what is the uh, default subnet mask value? It is 255.255.255.0. So, totally how many? 24 bits. These are 8 bits, 8 bits and 8 bits. 24 bits are used to represent the network. So, make use of this subnet mask and then you make use of the given IPv4 address and get the first address that is the network address and get the last address that is the broadcast address. So let us first convert this given binary uh, decimal notation into the uh, binary notation 192. 192 in binary is this. Then similarly you write the next octet the next octet the next byte is what 168 168 in binary fine then next 10 in binary actually this is binary notation i'll just leave a space between these uh, 8 8 bits then you have 15 15 in binary fine so once you write this address what is the subnet mask for class c 255.255.255.0 24 bits are ones so write down all the 24 bits okay so this completes 24 and the remaining will be what 0, 0, 0. Now to get the first address, you have to perform the logical AND operation. That is bitwise AND operation you have to carry out. Apply the mask, subnet mask value to what? To the given IP address. Bit by bit you perform the logical AND operation and see the result. So when you perform the logical AND operation, what is that you will be getting? Look here. 0 ended with 1 is 0, 1 ended with 1 is 1. So, only wherever the combination 1 ended with 1, you are go going to get 1. Re others, you will be getting it as 0 only. So, you will write here 0, fine, 1, next 0, 0, 0, 0. In this case, yes, both 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. 0. Then here, if you perform the logical, only this you can see. So, 0, 0, 0, 0. This one is the fourth bit, fifth bit, one, zero, zero. Then you have what here? Zero, 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 zero. One hundred with zero, one hundred with zero, one hundred with zero. You are getting zeros. So when you do this, this is the result. Now convert back this into decimal. What is the value for this? One ninety two. What is the value for this? Eight bits. 168. What is the value for this? So, here I have written in binary 8, not 10. So, make the correction. It is 8 because I have written in 
binary 8 and let me write this also as 8. So, this is what? This is 8 dot and this is 0. Fine. So, this is what you got 198.168. So, that means for this one particular network given was this address. You have determined what the network address. The network address is 192.168.8.0. Fine. And this is one of the address in the network. 192.168.8.50. This is one of the address. Now, to find out the last address in the network or the broadcast address, you have to perform once again what take the subnet mask in binary. Now, you have to take what? You have to perform the logical OR operation. But when you want to perform the logical OR operation with the given IP address, there is one more step you need to carry out. And what is this step? The whatever is the subnet mask, you take a complement of it and then perform the logical OR, that is bitwise OR. So, let me take the complement of the subnet mask. Here 1 means I have to take, okay, all these are 1's only. Let me write 1 below the other only, the bits. Fine. The next, earlier these were all zeros. Now you have to take the complement. It becomes 1. After this, you have to perform the logical OR operation. So now check the result. Bitwise OR operation. If either of either one of the bit is 1, then it is 1 or if both the bits are 1s, then also it is 1 in case of OR operation. So, here it is 0, here 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. In this case, 1 odd with 0 is what? 1, 0 odd with 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Here, all these first 4 bits 1 odd with 0 is 1, 0, 0, 0. Next look here 0 odd with 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. You got this answer in binary. Now once you get this result in binary, convert back into decimal. What is this value? This is 192. This one is 168. This one is what? Uh, 8. And the last by the last eight bits, if you look here, all ones. So it all ones in decimal. It is two fifty five. This is the last address in class uh, for this given IP address. So hope you people are getting the point. This one was the network. So somewhere this address was there one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot eight dot fifteen. Okay. So once you see this IP address, you have found out that it is a class C address. Once you come to know it is a class C address, you have to take its subnet mask, take convert that subnet mask into binary, perform the logical AND operation, get the first address. So, you got the first address as 192.168.8.0. After that is what 8.1, 8.2 like this, this was the given address. Similarly, other addresses will follow .16, .17. Finally, what will be the last address? This will be the last address. Okay, 192.168.8.255. So, for this organization, this is the first address, for this network, this is the first address and this is the last address. This is the network address and the last address is the broadcast address. So, out of these addresses, totally how many? 0 to 255, 256 addresses are there. But definitely the first and the last address will not be assigned to any host. So, 256 minus 2 addresses you have to do, 254. IP addresses 256 are possible, but number of usable hosts are only 254 in class C addressing. In this particular example, it is 254. So, hope you people have understood the concept of class C addressing. Mainly here it was only to determine the first and the last addressing for a given address, for a given IPv4 address belonging to class C category. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.